Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. The Canon Hinad case. And I'm sure this video is going to be very downvoted and piss off a lot of people and probably even get some death threats. But here's my problem with the whole issue. They are using the death of this five-year-old boy to try and discredit the fact that there is a problem with racism and police brutality and injustice be not being you know addressed against the black community in America. So Canon Hinnan is this innocent, adorable little five-year-old white boy who was shot and killed as he played outside in his own parking lot by a neighbor, who of course happens to be a black man. Now, of course, in right-wing circles, this has been making the rounds because so how come you know everyone's talking about all these black people but no coverage for Ken and Hinnant? Where are the protests? Where are the protests? Where are the protests? Is what I'm seeing. Now the reason why there are no protests for this boy who was sadly robbed of life so young is because they caught the murderer and justice was served. The same cannot be said of Breonna Taylor or Regis Korczynski Paquette, or countless other black people and natives in Canada and the United States who have not had justice served. The loss of this boy's life is terrible. It's sad. I cannot imagine how horrified his father must be just having to cradle his dying and bleeding son in his arms. I get that. Yeah, it's sad. And yet they're politicizing it. Justice has been served, but it's not enough because they want black people to shut up about injustice. That's what the death of this boy has become for the right wing. And that's what's bothering me today. That people are willing to take a still warm corpse and attempt to use it to ignore the terrible injustices that continue to face black people in America today. They're willing to use the bloodied corpse of a five-year-old child to try and justify their anger and racism towards black people. My heart goes out to Ken and Hinnant's family. This is a loss that no parent should ever have to face. No parent should ever outlive their child. And yet, before, you know, the boy had even been placed in a morgue, people were freaking out and claiming, where's the justice? The justice has been served. They caught the neighbor. They arrested him. They're charging him with murder. He's probably going to go away for a long time, if not life. Where's that same anger for Breonna Taylor? Where is that same anger for Ayanna Jones? I am so tired of white people trying to find any excuse to make black people be silent or try and find any excuse, including clearly using the body of a five-year-old child to try and make some kind of false equivalency about uh, the Black Lives Matter movement and injustice and somehow thinking that these stories are in any way equivalent when justice has already been served for poor little canon. You don't want justice. You want justification for your racism and bigotry. And that's what's bothering me.